What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl D, and in this video, it's a pretty much a, just a little vlog, but I go into detail as to why I haven't started doing hair. I also went skiing for the first time, so um, you guys know I just I just moved, I live in Colorado now, so everything is still new, everything is still fresh. I go into detail as to why I haven't started doing hair, I know a lot of people are curious, but I didn't want to go into detail like on Instagram or on Facebook because it's just like too much, like it's too long for that, and so I just include it in this video, so if you guys are interested, then keep watching. Then I need to survive and I, I'd go to the sun. I just got to Goodwill. I haven't been to this Goodwill yet. And there are a lot of people here. It is right after Christmas, so we'll see what we find. I'm looking for a scarf because I don't have like a really thick one. They have black too. If this was thicker, I would totally get it. Oh, and leg warmers. Honestly, I need some leg warmers. I don't have any. I think I'll take. I'm finding such good things. I'm actually so excited. Oh, this will be pretty like for the kitchen so I can set stuff on it. <laughs> Bro, my cart, look how full it is. We got lots of stuff. This mirror, I love. This girl complimented me. She's like, oh, that mirror's so cute. I was like, thank you, girl. And then she's like over here looking for mirrors. Oh, out of breath, I just ran and took the buggy back. Look how I have the mirror. If I got Nick this pants, that's like Columbia, and it's like for snowing and skiing and stuff because we're going snowboarding on Monday. I was like, let me go to the thrift store and see if I can find anything for us. That way we can save money from having to buy it brand new. So I did find that, which is a Clutch. I'm wrapping Nick's present right now. Christmas already passed, but better late than never, right? Le quitamos el gancho. I just went to the store and somebody was telling me because I was telling them how I just moved here. Well, recently moved here from Texas and that I did hair. He said it's like not worth it to work at a shop. Cause y'all obviously know I haven't started working yet. Um, because like the shops just like take too much. He's like, honestly, if you're gonna do hair, he's like, if you're good, he's like, just open up your own thing because honestly, if you work for somebody else, they're gonna screw you over and they're gonna get so much money out of you and out of the services you offer. And it's just not gonna be worth it in the long run, like if you're trying to make money. And I literally cannot agree. Like he was spitting fat. Y'all remember when I came to visit and I went to shops and I went to see what was out there, you know, like what my options were gonna be. Honestly, I left so discouraged because a lot of the shops that were booth rent, the booth it was ridiculously high and a lot of the shops that were commissioned it was like not worth it like i felt like doing hair was like not really worth it and, and even booth rent is like ridiculously high and then i even remember one of the shops she really liked my work and she really liked what i did and so she was like pretty much gonna charge me a little bit cheaper because i told her i was like well i'm gonna be starting out i'm gonna have zero clients i'm not trying to pay all this money up front and not be making any money she was telling me how she would charge me less so i could start there but then as soon as i get my clients she's like i would have to start charging you more because it's not fair that you're making all this money and the shop isn't and when she said that i was like oh like you just care about your profit and the profit for your business like honestly like i've been seeing that honestly like in the shops like in texas i just miss that about texas like well they actually care like people over here are just like looking out for themselves obviously i've this is not everybody, but like, I've noticed it a lot. And nothing against these business owners. I don't want to bash them or talk bad about them. If I had my own business, I would want it to be successful too. But there's enough heads, there's enough money, there's enough profit for everybody. It's just crazy because in Texas, it's like, no, girl, like, I don't do haircuts like that. Go to this girl. You know, like, we're recommending other people because we want everybody to grow. We want everybody to be successful. But yeah, so that guy that I was talking to earlier, he was telling me that. And I was like, wow, this guy is spitting facts. He was telling me, he's like, yeah, honestly, just open up your own shit if you're going to open up like hair like in in the hair industry here he's like it's not worth it to work for somebody else and now i'm thinking i'm like well he told me everything i already knew but just like confirmed it you know so that's kind of that's why i haven't started doing hair yet because like i haven't seen that it's worth it yet and like obviously it has to be worth it because i'm too good to just like go and like start working for somebody and like then make the money that literally makes no sense I've been thinking about like other jobs I want to do. I think that maybe if I just like did something else for now and like gave myself a break and started again maybe in the summer doing hair, 
But but yeah, that's kind of what happened today. Look at her. She looks delicious. Add a little avocado. This is bomb. Tomorrow is the last day of the year. We're going skiing and snowboarding tomorrow. And I think we got everything prepared. We're gonna at Walmart now because I do wanna buy some stuff so we can make a lunch for tomorrow. I've heard all the food there is super over expensive, over price. So I think I'm gonna buy some chorizo, some eggs, so that way I can make some little burritos. They stopped giving bags at Walmart. So this is what my passenger seat looks like. We're gonna start with the papas. Something I need to survive. Today is literally New Year's. I'm gonna get ready later and go and hang out with Nick. Let's get ready for New Year's. Tell me why I look down and I only have one eye. Like, fuck, the other one. My eyebrows are throwing off the look, so hold on, let's do them real quick. Get the end of a comb. Okay, now here. I honestly, I don't know what to do because if my curls still look good, so I could wear it down, but I just really don't want to wear it down. And like, she's still cute if I did like a half up down. So let's go pick the outfit and do a little swirl. That curl, the buns. Let's go. Three, two, one. Give me a kiss. Good morning. It's four. 44 right now a.m. when to sleep at 2 a.m. and we are up getting ready to ski the plan is we're gonna leave at 5 15 I'm gonna drive us to Denver we're gonna get picked up by a bus at like 6 and that's gonna take us to Go to the mountain, but okay, I gotta get my lunch. I'm gonna take some apples and some granola bars. Some granola bars, packing us two of these because we're gonna need them. Something I need to survive, and I, I'd go to the sun.
days. Yesterday was crazy. It took me a little bit to get used to it, but after I got used to it, I was picking up speed and not gonna lie, I fell a lot of times, but it was honestly so fun. I went a lot faster than what I thought I was gonna go. Even Nick said, he was like, for your first time, you impressed me because his first time he said he was not that good but also i had a very good teacher because my cousin we went with my cousin damien and he knows what he's doing so he was showing us and telling us and i think that if it wouldn't have been for him i would have done way worse my body last night though was was hurting just a little bit like my, my hips were very sore this this morning not too bad honestly i think i'm just a little bit sore all over thanks for watching until the end if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye something i need to survive and i'd go to the sun